Luscious, are you dancing? I give you a 7 out of 10. You got the moves, bro. Mike's not impressed. Alright, Survivors Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.18. Hardcore Survival, the cave life, here in our luscious, lush cave. <laughs> and I'm loving it down here. Uh, this is, this is like the dream life, baby. The dream life for survivors, anyway. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue. And thank you very much for the likes, the feedback, the comments, the tips and the tricks and all that jazz. Keep it coming, my friends. And today we have, oh my gosh, what is going on here? You guys are, uh, you're spreading. The family is growing. Oh, there's a little mini one. Look at the little baby. <laughs> it's so adorable. Can I snatch up the little baby? Got you. All right, you're free. Go. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. I can't wait to do some, something with them. I don't know what. Oh, bees. What the heck? What the heck? We got bees. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. We got a beehive. What? Whoa. What else is going on here? Oh my gosh, this place is loaded. Full of surprises. Oh, hey. Hey, drop that fish. That belongs to the axolotls. <laughs> you thief. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Down there. You don't even eat fish. Jeez. What's wrong with this guy? Holy smokes. I can't believe we got a beehive, guys. That's amazing. So yeah, I put these uh, the azaleas here next to the trees, so that there's a like I said in the I think in the last episode there's a five percent chance that a beehive will generate on a new tree next to a flower, and we got lucky five percent right there. And I got a bunch of trees over here too. They have not grown yet, but you can see I, I put out the azaleas, so we can get beehives potentially. Wow. That is so lucky. Oh, look at this, by the way. <laughs> there's a uh, there's a diamond here. Just one. I wanted to show you this. I did actually see it when I was out here exploring a little bit in the local area. And I wanted you guys to see that diamond to let you know that I get it legitimately. And that gives us a total of four now. So there you go. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Anyway, let's get back to the hidey hole. I really should kill you. But we're going to save him for later. We're going to give this guy a name. But what's your name, feller? Uh, what? Can you repeat that? I couldn't quite hear you. You were gurgling. What's your name, buddy? Oh, Luscious Larry? Oh, because you live in a lush cave. I get it. Well, welcome, Luscious Larry. You don't look very luscious to me. You're not my type. Sorry. Okay, let's get back <laughs> to the cave and let's shore it up now that we got zombies milling about out there. The luscious Larry's not going anywhere, apparently. All right, let's put the fitch away, and we're going to go ahead and make a front wall here so we can close off our hidey hole and live a safe life. By the way, we can make polished um, deep slate with the uh, regular deep slate. It's very nice. It's got a nicer look than the rough cobble slate. Um, and here's what we're going to do. Let's make a wall. And we're going to put a window in, maybe. We'll have a door right here. Uh, yeah, let's see a door here, window there, perfect, and that'll keep us safe and secure, relatively anyway, at least for the time being, and we block this off, and there we go, beautiful, now we just need a door, let's grab some, oh, we have some birch wood right here, we'll make a birch door, um, although, wait, this is hardcore mode, so zombies can break the doors down if it's made of wood, uh, we have nine iron. We could make an iron door, but I don't want to use up all my iron for this door. Let's just make a regular wooden door for now. And that way, um, it'll, it'll keep creepers out at the very least, right? Zombies will still be able to break it down, but we can, uh, we'll hear them kicking the door down and then we can come and respond and take them out. Um, at least until we can get an iron door set up. Now... Uh, oh, the diamond. Yeah, four diamonds. We'll save those for later. We'll make a nice diamond pickaxe when we need it. Um, so for right now, here's what I want to do. I need to make a source of food, like a renewable source of food. And I'm thinking about making like a glowberry buffet right here. And a whole bunch of vines growing down from above and that we can just walk over here and pluck the berries off. Um, and we'll have a huge, huge supply of these things. I'm going to try to put up as many as possible. I've been collecting lots and lots of berries. We've got 37 so far. And I have not been eating them. Because I wanted to do this project with you. Uh, let's knock that back maybe in this one. So we're going to go up as high as we can here. Until we can't reach no more. 
that's about as high up and we're gonna put a berry uh, well the vine anyway I can't reach it so I'm gonna jump up <laughs> right there right and we're gonna do that all along here we'll do three rows so let me clear this out I'm gonna put the berries up there and then uh, we'll just sit back and let them grow okay it's all cleared now we need to go up there and we need to put some lighting in here we're gonna have one berry like right in the center relatively in the center and uh we will um we'll use that as the lighting and we, we're not gonna pluck the berries off that one let me get rid of this here as well can we go over one more let's go over one more one more why not we want this berry farm to be the biggest and the bestest in the entire luscious cave what, what are you doing that's not the right tool for the job there we go <laughs> there we go okay now we're gonna go up and somewhere relatively in the center right about there maybe yeah and we're gonna pop a hole up pop a hole right here i'm gonna go up to what is that i can't see it from here it's so dark i think it's some kind of stone hopefully no lava up there and we're gonna put that and then we're gonna grow it down one and then we're gonna hit it with some bone meal bloop all right now we got our lighting so check that out is that enough lighting in here yeah now we don't want that to grow right and we had talked about this in the last episode i think where we can use shears on the vine to stop it from growing but if you use it here it's going to pop the berry off but somebody out there um, gave me a great tip so if we hold down shift and squat and then we snip it doesn't take the berry off the vine and it will stop that growth so thank you very much for that tip very much appreciated and again keep those tips tricks and likes etc coming oh i didn't want to do that I just want to put the base down, right? The starter, and then uh, we'll just wait for these to grow. So I'm going to do all of these. Now, the fact that I can barely reach it is exactly what we want because I don't want to break the, the base inadvertently. There we go. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It's the free berry buffet. Just going to wait for it to grow and pay off in dividends, baby. Luscious Larry would be so proud. Luscious, how are we doing over there? Oh, wait, who's that? Luscious has a friend. Oh, no. <laughs> He's trying to give him a boost out. Okay, we can't have that. We can't have that. I don't know who this guy is, but apparently Luscious has a friend. Hey, 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 Luscious, what are you doing? You, what's your name, feller? Mike? Oh, sorry, Mike, but you gotta go, bro. I don't want Luscious Larry to get out. <laughs> You might stand on, on Mike's head. All right. You good in there, pal? Let me get rid of that right there. Yeah, there you go. Nice and low. All right, we'll catch up to you later, buddy. Catch up to you later. Let's grab some more berries. We've got a bunch right here. Knock these back. Hey, don't mind me just grabbing a berry, Luscious. A luscious berry. All right, that's good enough for now. How many did I get? 21. Wow, see? We're going to get tons and tons of berries, especially once ours start to grow in here. Um, I'm going to snip these now because we don't need these to grow anymore. So again, squat down and snip and snip. I love it. I love my recessed lighting. Okay, the buffet is growing very slowly and I don't see any berries. So the idea will be to come through here and just punch. Oh, grab that one and punch. Look at that. And I can't reach those. Oh, wait a second. Yes, I can. I got to go up one more. Oh, dang it. <laughs> right, because they're hanging down and I didn't calculate for the hang. Dang it. I always forget the hang. All right, then we're going to have to go up another one, aren't we? Drat. Totally miscalculated, so we're going to go all the way up here. That's a lot of berries wasted, let me tell you. Dag nabbit. All right, I think we're good now. Let's give that a try. Can I reach all the way up and break the base? No. All right, that's what I was looking for. I suppose we could have lowered the floor rather than waste all those berries, but no big deal. I mean, we are loaded with berries out here. They're everywhere. I think we need a window right here to check on our friend uh, Luscious. <laughs> He seems so sad now that his friend's gone. <laughs> Larry! Oh, there's his face. How you doing, buddy? He seems confused. Still carrying his tropical fish. <laughs> well, at least he has company. 
All right, let's, um, what are we doing next? I think what I want to do is work on this over here, kind of our uh, workspace and our fireplace, because it looks like uh, it's a disaster. Doesn't look very nice, and I want to pretty it up a little bit. I did see some more granite over here, right over here. I'm thinking we're going to use some granite for this. Right on one up here. Got a bunch of granite. You've got a little lava bag here. So, yeah, let me grab all this granite, and then we'll polish it up. And I think we're going to use it over in that area to make it look nice. And we'll use the polished deep slate as well. I kind of want to use the deep slate because it's new. And it doesn't look that bad polished. It's dark, which I don't really care for, but it does look nice. Oh, we got dirt. We got, honest to goodness, dirt down here. Where the heck did that come from? Ooh, what does that mean? What does it mean? I don't know. But it's good to have. Um, we need to go up and get some regular old cobblestone, too, so we can make a blast furnace. And uh, other things like the stone cutter. Although I think we can make a stone cutter with granite and uh, diorite and maybe even cobble deep slate. I'm not sure about that. We're going to have to figure that out. But for now, let's go... You know, I'm just going to snip that so I don't have to keep breaking it. Snip. There we go. Look at all the balls. Holy smokes, we got balls. I don't know what to do with all these balls. By the way, I did get somewhat organized. As you can see here, we got the three chests. And I got all my organics in here and monster drops and that kind of thing. And then all the ores that we need to smelt right here. But I want to make a blast furnace for that because we have all that ore. And that one lava bucket should be able to do all that, I'm thinking. Okay, let's put a little spit and polish on these blocks. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, that didn't work. How do, how do you polish again? Oh, yeah. Very simple. Right there. <laughs> Little spit and polish, as they say. We're not going to polish all of it. All of it. All of it. And I think what we'll do is... Well, let's polish up some more of this stuff as well. We need a bunch of that. And as far as I know, we can make slabs and stairs with these two. Oh, yeah, we can. Look at that. Beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. And slabs? Yeah, sure. We'll do the whole kit and caboodle. Let's put in some polished deep slate right here around the fireplace. I think that'll look nice first. Just knock those out of here. Spider around somewhere. I think I might even raise the ceiling here a little bit. But let's just try this first and see how it looks. This is very nice. And I'm thinking maybe the um, granite here, like a nice granite wall, and furnaces inside the wall in the center. All right, now let's try this, see how this looks. We might want to do some beveling maybe, but first let's just put the full blocks in. And by beveling, I mean like using um, stairs, you know what I mean? That looks pretty nice, don't it? Yes, it do, if I do say so myself. Like right here, I'm thinking maybe adding some depth. Eh. How about that? Maybe a little slab in front. There we go. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby indeed. And how about if we do like this here? Whoops, need one more. I mean, it's short. Like I said, I might raise the, the ceiling a little bit, but I think for now, that looks pretty good. Gives it a little depth. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. Put in our polished granite, and we need a couple of um, furnaces. All right. I mean, that's a lot of furnaces. We don't need all those now. And one of these is going to be a blast furnace, maybe even two of them. But for now, I just want to see how it looks. And uh, yeah, not too shabby. What do you think? It's pretty good. I mean, it's coming along. It's coming along and look, looking a little more homey than it was before. And maybe even a... Um, can we put a trapdoor right there? I think we can. I think we can. Do we have any more oak? I like an oak trapdoor. We do not have any oak. Let's go grow an azalea tree. And we can get some oak. You know what else we could do? We have so much clay. We could make some bricks. Right, let's do that. Let's make some bricks. Um, did I grab the coal? I'll get charcoal right here. Let me just grab that. Oh, hold on, right here. Two coal, and we'll get this going. One here, and one there. 
and we'll get um, we'll get some bricks going, little red bricks, and then we can make uh, we can make a flower pot. So we can get some flowers in here that'll look nice, and we can also maybe work some brick into our design. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna get rid of this right here and use the uh, polished slabs instead because I don't like I'm not crazy about the cobbled deep slate so much, but we got plenty of the po uh, the polished kind right here. Um, do we need to go all the way over? I might block that off. Yeah, I think I'm going to do something like this. And start working on these walls. Make them look nice. And I definitely want to put this up a little higher. We'll just do that right now. We can see our free buffet over here. The berry buffet, which is growing. We got a few. We got a few on the vine here. Hey, how's Luscious doing? Let's check in on old Luscious. Hey, Mike's back. Dag nabbit, I thought we got rid of Mike. <laughs> oh, that Mike. He's persistent. He's a persistent fellow. Okay, what are we going to do again? Oh, yeah, go grow an oak tree. And I suppose while we're out there, we can try to go up to the uh, level zero and get some more coal. So I'm going to drop some of this stuff out. Let's put all these blocks in this, up in this chest up here. And charcoal can go there for now. Okay, we can climb up using the clay. Perfectly fine. Hey, Mike, you want a fish? Here, help yourself. Uh, I don't think Mike likes fish. <laughs> Not as much as Luscious Larry, anyway. Luscious, are, are you dancing? I give you a 7 out of 10. You got the moves, bro. Mike's not impressed. Mike's not impressed with your dancing. He's not much of a friend. You, you shouldn't call him friend. <laughs> All right, let's go grow an azalea. Oh, we got another tree here. A little beehive on this one, huh? Oh, that's too bad. Stand back. It's gonna pop. Don't know how big this thing gets. <laughs> All right, we got our oak. I'm gonna take some of these because they're good for uh, mulching or composting. All right, let's get back and do the thing with the thing. Um, I think I want to make some stairs here so we don't have to keep hopping up, you know? So every time you hop, it uses a little bit of energy and it makes you hungry. Um, oh, we wanted to go up and get the uh, coal and the cobblestone, which, uh, yeah, let's go do that right now. Let me just put the stuff away real quick. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm just breaking these vines because there's no berries on them. Um, yeah, you know what I'm thinking is we could use pistons maybe to break the vines with some redstone with, you know, one one click of a button and that would break the vines and all the berries would fall to the ground. We could even have them collected in uh, hoppers or something and, and put them into a chest automatically. So that's something we could definitely do. I'll think about that. Um, I'm going to save my bacon. <laughs> save my bacon <laughs> for later. Let's just eat the berries now that we have our little berry farm up and running we should get a decent source of berries every now and again okay let us be off and go get some coal and oh what's that i heard a little little feet pitter patter okay i thought maybe bub the boy scout zombie was here but nope good thing I have not seen him yet <laughs> all right guys we'll see you later you're still dancing dancing all night long that guy Holy cow. All right. Uh, so let's get our little spyglass out here. We did see... So, oh, there's some stone right there. There's some more stone. So we don't want to really go too far above zero, right? Because the whole point of this playthrough is to stay and live below zero. Um, we could get that right there. A bunch of stone. But didn't we see... Oh, there's some iron. And I think there was some coal up here too. So we just got to get up there to that level. All right, let's go see how high this is right here. We can go right up there with our clay. Use the old elevator trick. Whoop! Okay, ow. And up we go. Seems relatively safe. What level are we at right now? Oh, we're at two. We're too high. It's a magma block right there. Just a little bit out of reach. Dag nabbit. That means there could be a, a nether portal right there. I gotta go down, down one if we're gonna do this uh, properly. Okay, I guess I can't get that iron. If we're gonna follow the rules. Oh, wow, water! No. No, 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 no. I don't want water going down there and wrecking everything. Oh, no, no, not my sapling! Hey, is that Bob? Oh, it's Bob! 
I knew I heard him. I heard his little feet pittering pattering. He's behind the bush. Trying to be sneaky. I see you, bub. Oh, no. I can't believe bub found us. Bub the Boy Scout zombie found us. <laughs> He's kind of annoying. All right, I got to get that stone right there. Hopefully no more water pops out. Oh, just like that. Dang nabbit. Apparently we're under a pond of some kind. Oh, there go all my saplings. Is there water everywhere here? All right, we got some. We got some. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this legit. Well, I'm going to get closer to this stone over here if I can. We're just going to stay low on this level. And that seems... Oh, there's some. Okie dokie here. Let me light this up. See a little bit better. Hopefully there's no water here. I can reach it. As long as I can reach it, I feel like that's fair game. Right? Seem fair? Oh, there's iron. Sweet. Deep slate iron. All right, let me grab all this, and then we'll go. And I think we'll have enough stone, hopefully. Yeah, this is like right on the... Co Whoa, no, 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 no. Not more water. Dang it. Stop. You've already ruined everything. <laughs> and I'm going to lose my pickaxe. All right, what do we got for regular cobble? We've got 14. Let's try to get two more. Oh, hold on, did I get two more? Oh, we got 16. Okay, that's fine. And hopefully we can get this last two bits of iron and now let's go back down where's bub oh no he's gone oh no he's gone he's out there hiding somewhere i guarantee it there's more iron down there we gotta go down and get those saplings we cannot lose those saplings all right i don't see bub right now but that doesn't mean he's not down there he's hiding somewhere so let's uh let's get back to the cave before he spots us. And we're gonna grab these, um, gonna grab those saplings. Where did they go? Oh, there's one. And here's a bunch of stuff over here. How many saplings did we get? We got two. Okay, let's put those back in the ground. Ooh, there's another one. Oh man, the azaleas too. And the azaleas, I cannot believe it. All right, let's get those flowers back up. Again, we're trying to get um, some bees here, so. We can put these diagonally two away. And we have a 5% chance to get more beehives. There's another torch. Okay, apparently Bub is not around at the moment, so let's make a break for it. Oh no, where's Luscious? Luscious! Luscious left. Well, it's kind of a shame. He was kind of cool. You know what? He'll be back. <laughs> All right, let's close the door. I feel relatively safe, but you know what? Bub can squeeze through these little windows. So we're going to have to uh, maybe put some bars up. <laughs> All right, I'll think about that. We'll do that later. Okay, um, so what are we doing now? Oh, yeah, cobblestone. We need, we need to smelt some of the cobble. So let's do 16 cobble and get that going. And um, the ore I'm going to put away. We're going to do the ores all together, like I said, in a blast furnace. And that's why we're doing the stone. Um, so we can get the blast furnace going. Here, let's split that up, actually. It'll be a little faster. Yeah, because we need smooth stone to make the blast furnace, right? All right. Let me get organized yet again. And I'll be right back. And I think I'm going to make some more mulch here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, right, we got the oak logs, so let's go ahead and make our trap door, which is that. And I think the trap door, can we put it right here? I think so, yeah, that looks cool, right? We can open it up and do some cooking and then close it when we're done to keep the smoke out. Very, very nice. I love it. It's too bad we can't mulch fish. Ew, I can eat tropical fish? I didn't know that. They don't really fill you up much, but holy smokes. Look at all the tropical fish we have. <laughs> 58 tropical fish. <laughs> Another menu item. Fantastic. Let's check our little farm here. Yeah, they're not, not really growing very well. Wow. Yeah, it's only a 1 in 9 chance to grow on a vine. So, yeah, this is not going to be super reliable. And we've got to keep breaking these vines. So, yeah, we're going to automate this, guys. I think we're going to use the pistons. 
but we're not going to do that today because we are just about out of time. But for now, let's go ahead and make our smooth stone. And then we can make the blast furnace, which requires some... Oh, I don't have the recipe yet until we get one piece of smooth. There we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Blast furnace. B-L-A-S-T. Blast. Five iron. One regular furnace. And three large smooth stones. Okie dokie. We can do that. And let's take this guy. And my pickaxe is going to pop. Blast. There we go. We got our blast furnace. Woohoo! And I think I'm going to put the blast furnace... Uh, let's put the blast furnace over here. Right here. And we'll probably get another blast furnace eventually. But one is good enough for now. So, let's go ahead and get all of the ores going. We're going to start with the iron. We got our lava bucket. Put the lava in. And away we go. Look how fast that smelts. So much more efficient. It actually uses the same amount of fuel. But it just smelts at twice the speed. So you don't have to wait around all day. That's fantastic. We can go get some more uh, some more lava. But that should do all of our ores. Just got to get ready with it. And just swap it out when, when necessary. Okay, I think... Oh, I love the color too. Oh, it's so cool. Alright, guys. I think we're going to call it quits for now. I'm going to go ahead and make a new pickaxe. Uh, oh, we should make a diamond pickaxe, right? Yeah, let's make a diamond pickaxe. Of course, I'm not going to use the diamond pickaxe for mundane things around the house. But that's going to allow us to get some uh, obsidian. And then we can use the obsidian to make a portal to the nether. Because we're going to want to go down to the nether sooner or later. Alright, look at that. 16 iron ingots already done. Ooh boy, and all that fuel in there still. <laughs> I love me a blast furnace. It's a blast. All right, let's throw the gold on there too. And then copper next. All right, and I think, my friends, we're going to call it quits right here, right now. Got some new recipes with the gold. Fabulous. All right, guys, I think that's it for now. Let's go see if Luscious Larry's back. It's my spyglass. I put it away for some reason. Luscious? Aw, so sad. All right, well, he'll be back sometime. Well, I hope Luscious comes back soon because I want to show him my dance moves. I mean, look at this. We'll have a dance-off. Yeah, we'll have a dance contest. Me and Luscious Larry. Luscious got nothing on me. All right, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.